In this video, we're going to talk about which programming language you should use in your upcoming interviews. My name is Nema, and I'm a product manager and former mobile and machine learning engineer at a big tech company. Let's cut to the chase. We think you should use Python in your coding interviews. Now let me explain why. There are two types of coding interviews you'll likely face. Number one, online assessments where you solve coding questions under pressure. Number two, technical interviews where you code in front of an interviewer. While you can technically use different languages for both interviews, you shouldn't. Stick to a single programming language through the entire interview loop so you don't need to double your interview prep. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to check out Exponent's complete software engineering interview prep courses with hours of coding mock interviews, real-world data structures and algorithms practice, and conceptual deep dives. You can start for free on tryexponent.com. For online assessments, you can usually choose any language you want as long as it's available on the Coding Challenge platform. However, the more obscure the language, the less likely you'll be able to use it. Languages like Python and Java are almost always available. Swift, not so much. Most companies use platforms like Hacker Earth, Hacker Rank, Code Signal, and CoderPad, which support dozens of languages. However, companies can still restrict the programming languages available to you. Sticking to mainstream languages is a safer choice. For example, Google's online assessments only support Python, Java, C++, and JavaScript. For technical interviews, the languages you can use are more limited. Here are some things to think about. First, choose a language the interviewer is familiar with so that they can help you debug and follow along. It's hard to know what language the interviewer prefers, but you can make an educated guess based on the industry and the company's tech stack. If you're unsure, stick to mainstream languages. Second, for certain roles, you'll need to use a niche language. For example, if you're interviewing for an iOS developer role, your interview is likely going to be in Objective-C or Swift. For a web development role, JavaScript is essential. Next, let's talk about how to actually decide which language to use. In online assessments where time is of the essence or in live coding environments where you don't want to test your interviewer's patience, you need to implement solutions quickly. Languages like Python have a standard library that supports many common data structures out of the box, saving you the hassle of implementing them yourself. Choose a language that allows you to explain your solution clearly to your interviewer. This helps them follow along as you code. While good coding practices like commenting and proper naming are essential, a language that's inherently more readable will always be helpful. Be familiar with a language. If your interview is in a few days, this is essential. You don't want to stumble over the basic syntax of a language that you just learned in front of an interviewer. Finally, let's go over some tips to help you ace your coding interviews, no matter which language you choose. Don't assume familiarity equals proficiency. Just because you use a language daily at work doesn't mean you'll have no issues coding a solution in that interview. At work, you have the luxury of reading documentation and searching for how to use certain data structures or algorithms. In technical interviews, the solution might skew towards using a specific data structure, like a priority queue, and you might find yourself unfamiliar with its syntax. Go beyond syntax. Understand the underlying implementation of data structures and algorithms in your chosen language. For instance, knowing the space and time complexity of Python's sort function will allow you to articulate the space-time complexity of your solution. Communicate with your interviewer. This advice holds true across all interviews, but it's especially important in certain solutions. For example, getting asked an interview question where your chosen programming language lacks built-in support for a specific data structure required for the solution, this is where this comes in handy. If it happens to you, clarify with the interviewer if they'd like you to build the solution from scratch or if there's a library that you can import to help you out. This underscores the importance of selecting a language with a robust library of built-in data structures. Our top pick, Python. If you have the luxury of time to learn or are already somewhat familiar with Python, we highly recommend using it for your technical interviews. Here's why we picked it. Efficiency through simplicity. Python allows you to achieve a lot with minimal syntax, making it ideal for coding under pressure. Extensive library support. Python boasts a vast library of optimized functions and ready-to-use data structures. Dynamic typing advantage. Python's dynamic typing eliminates the need for explicit type declarations, offering flexibility in coding. This is particularly advantageous in tasks where rapid prototyping and adaptability are important, such as in data science, machine learning, and analytics. Consistent and intuitive APIs. Python provides consistent APIs that operate seamlessly across different data structures, enhancing code readability and usability. No time wasted on curly brace errors. 
Unlike languages with curly braces, Python syntax relies on indentation for code structure, reducing the time spent debugging syntax errors. A simple missing curly brace, unnoticed initially due to interview stress, can escalate into a frustrating and time-consuming issue. Readability. Python syntax is highly readable, even resembling pseudocode. Its widespread adoption also means many interviewers are familiar with Python or can easily understand it. In conclusion, Python's versatility and readability make it a standout choice for technical interviews, offering a great balance of both efficiency and clarity. Thanks so much for watching. We hope this advice can help you ace your upcoming technical interviews. Be sure to check out Exponent's interview prep courses in the description below, and we'll see you in the next video.